All right, guys, so today we're going after some stripers. As you can see, we're out on the river today, going for some stripers. I got the jerk bait tied on. I know y'all see that. And I got my swim bait tied on the other rod. So it's springtime right now. It's prime time for some striper fishing. This only happens one time a year. They're coming up here to spawn. We got an incoming tide right now. And it's a bit windy out. The clouds, ooh, sorry about that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the clouds are rolling in. We're gonna have a, a, some rain coming in tomorrow. So hopefully that can get these stripers to start biting, but we got an incoming tide, some wind, some more clouds. And we got the sun out, it's a really nice day out today. So yeah, I hope we can get something to bite. So I'll, I'll see you guys on the chesty. Oof, there's crazy. Let's the, throw in the shade, shall we? There we go, I'm on. This feels like a, oh, this is a nice one. He hit on that drop. Actually, I don't think he's that big, but he's running though. He hit on that drop. Shrimp bait. Shrimp bait. He looks. Oh, the light's making it look like he's big. He's not that big. And I apologize for my runny nose, guys. Allergies has been killing me lately. Down. Got him. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, never mind. It came out. Show you all that fish. Not a big one by any means. But good fish. Good start. Let's let them on now. Go. Oh, he's stuck. Is he good? Is he good? Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. Just a bit stunned. All right, he's good. But I'm gonna bend back that barb. Although I'll probably lose like 10 times more fish. It'll make it a lot easier on the fish to release them, so. Guys, I don't know. That was crazy. That's a nice one. Guys, he just came out of nowhere and smoked this thing. He's not even that big and he's fighting super hard. Jeez Louise. I don't know if y'all even saw that. That guy is funny. I don't know if y'all even saw that. He freaking smoked the thing. He's not even that big and he's fighting so hard. Sheesh. That's fine. We'll tire him out. We didn't bring we didn't bring the net today, but I got my fish grippers. Don't go crazy on me, boy. Alright. Got control of the bait. Got him. Got him. Look at that fish. Whew, wee. Look at that fish. Gorgeous one. That's definitely a good size one. Gorgeous fish. Man, he fought crazy for his size. Fought very well. It was like, ooh. It was like as soon as I threw on the camera, I turned on the camera, he hit. He came up out of the depths to get that thing. Gorgeous fish. He's like a 19, 18 incher. Oh, wow. It was like as soon as I threw on the camera, he bit. I saw him come up and take it. I was just about to reel it in. And he came up and smoked it. He hit it like right. Like as soon as I got it over the drop off, I, I made it twitch twice, one, two, and I paused it right on the drop off. And then I would, right when I was about to reel it in, he came up and boom, took it. It was so surreal. I didn't expect it to get bit like that. A little visual bite. Very nice to see. Ooh, I'm on again. I'm checking the phone. This guy might actually come off. This guy's not that big. Yeah, you kind of can just tell. 
you can't really judge a striper on how much he weighs but how much he runs and this guy wasn't running at all <laughs> i was just about to check the time that's back to back all right buddy hold on there we go there we go just a little guy He's good. He's good. Ah, that was quick. That was back to back. Maybe the school's coming by. Pretty neat. That's back to back on that jerk bait. <laughs> I was just about to check the time. I was like, I was actually debating if we should move. Maybe I might pluck one off on the swim bait. But that's back to back. I think what's making them bite is the storm. Not even a storm, but having some rain drop in here in a bit by tomorrow. Uh, I got bit on the swim bait one time. So let's try. Let's just stick what's been working the yerk bait. to self don't trust wood <laughs> Oof, that's gonna leave a uh, little rash that's why you always wear jeans when fishing never wear shorts maybe sweatpants but never jeans i mean never shorts i wanted to come try your side I'm on right now guys he's probably like i saw him he was like at 18 or so he's running though yeah Ooh. oh wow the guys this is actually a very good one <laughs> yeah this is actually a very nice fish i'm gonna tail grab him sorry i didn't have the camera on it's been a rough start so i just kind of turned it off and i got this guy Ooh, buddy. Definitely a nice one, though. I'm gonna just tail grab him. Ooh. Ooh, wow, this guy's a nice one. Okay, I'm gonna grab him by the tail. Trick bait. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Look at that fish. Definitely a nice one. 21 inches, not a bad one. I didn't have a GoPro on because I, was, I wasn't catching anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just turn the GoPro off. Boom, got that beautiful fish. Nice pre-spawning. Let's get another one. All right, guys. So, I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Well, when he hit, he hit one time and then I kind of missed it and he came back for it. So he was pretty aggressive with it. We got incoming tide right now. It's gonna be go up. It's gonna keep going up all day today. So we're pretty much fishing that incoming tide and that water is gonna be rising. And yeah, that's first fish of the day. See if we can get another one. I've been throwing the swim bait here, but I couldn't get anything on the swim bait. So I'm gonna keep sticking with the jerk bait. It seems like this spot jerk bait produces a lot better than um, the swim bait. So I'm gonna just stick with this, I guess. So sometimes I get the question asked, does time of day matter for stripers or does tide really matter for stripers? And in my opinion, it really doesn't. I mean, I've caught fish almost all times of the day, but you cannot deny that morning bite is the best bite though, I gotta say. Morning bite is probably the best bite for me. I've never tried night fishing, so you can't. I can't really give my opinion on that. I have caught stripers during the nighttime, but uh, I don't really fish during the nighttime like that, so I'm not really too knowledgeable about it. But I've caught fish all day, pretty much, 
from like sunrise to sundown i've caught fish uh i would say the only dead time is when the stripers are just plain just not there you know that's when that's when you start to question everything you know but for the most part i gotta say uh stripers in my opinion don't really care about the daylight um sometimes they do like you'll catch them feed them in the morning and you'll you'll be spanking them in the morning just catching hella fish in the morning and then the sun comes up and they just stop biting sometimes it's like that um where like the, the sun comes up and they stop biting sometimes it's like that and sometimes they just keep biting throughout the entire morning so you know i guess it just kind of depends but in my opinion time of day does not really matter i would say just go out whenever you can and just grind it out and you know if you don't catch anything within the first hour or two i say it's a good idea to swap spots or something tide doesn't really matter in my opinion either but i just prefer fishing the incoming tide just because in my experience it's been a lot better but incoming tide it's my favorite tide but once again it's kind of like you just gotta go when you have the time to go you know it, i think it's more of just picking the right spot and making sure and making sure the fish are there yeah it's really just a matter of are the fish there or not and that's pretty much it i'm throwing the swim bait right now and it seems like this this spot is not really swim bait friendly in my opinion i have yet to catch anything on a swim bait right here but i've caught fish on jerk baits over here so i might just stick with the jerk bait you guys won't believe what i hooked this is a this is a giant this is a giant fish guys oh my god this is a pb maybe this is a giant fish okay i'll explain to you when i if i can get this fish in he's like a 29 30 inch guys this is a big one oh my god if i can get this guy in i'll explain to you guys what i did to catch this fish i'm gonna tire him out i don't know how i'm gonna land him we did not bring a net today and my dad is not with me anyway so oh, i'm about to tail grab this guy i'm shaking a little bit this guy's big guys this guy's big this guy's pretty damn big he's not giving up either oh my god oh my god all right, i got 20 pound test so the line hopefully should not snap but he's coming up oh my god this guy's big oh snap oh my god this guy's giant if i lose him oh well Nothing to be mad about. At least I was able to get this giant to bite. I seen him, he's like a 29, 30, but you know, the refraction under the water, the way the light hits the fish, he could just really be like a 29, 28, but this is definitely the biggest one of the year. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I think he's hooked good. I don't know though. I saw the jerk bait in his mouth. He's hooked decent, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna like, you know, risk it. Plus I need to get this guy as tired as possible because I don't have the net on me. So I'm either grabbing them by the mouth or I'm grabbing them by the tail. And I have an idea where I'm gonna land them, but. Oh, baby, that guy's giant. That guy's giant, that guy's giant. I don't know if y'all saw that. Okay, I'll try to lift them up here. Show you guys him or her. My gosh. That guy's big. He engulfed that thing. Oh, baby. Oh, he engulfed it. Oh, yeah. He's hooked in the mouth. He ate that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, sh oh I got him, guys. Look at that fish. What the heck? Look at the size of that guy. He ate that jerk bait in the mouth. Sorry for my runny nose. I'm too excited. My nose is going haywire on me. Holy crap. <laughs> Guys, that's the biggest one of the day. Okay, let's take care of this fish because I might release it. But I got to show my dad this fish though. My gosh. Guys, he ate that jerk bait. He was actually hooked really, really well. I'm shaking. Too bad I didn't get the hook set. I mean the hook set on camera because it was so weird. Look at that beast. That's a big old male, guys. Biggest one of the year for me. Hopefully that puts into perspective. Big old male, but my morals or my principles when it comes to stripers, anything over 35, I'm releasing 100%. Anything over 30, uh, most likely will be released. But since this guy is just 28, I'm gonna keep him. My dad wants to keep him. But, and, and it's also because he's a male too, you know? So if you milk them, you squeeze their bellies a little bit, you know, the sperm will come out. But man, that's a nice fish biggest one of the year for me love it it was crazy 
landing them was actually easier than I thought. Thank goodness for uh, some shallow rocks, but gorgeous fish. One last look at him. One last look. Oh, all right. My jerk bait is stuck under the rocks. Sheesh. I can't believe I got that guy to bite. His mouth was so big that he was actually able to eat the jerk bait like others. And look, he was actually, he got the line stuck in between the split rings, which is crazy. So yeah, man, that bite was, whoa, those birds are going crazy. But yeah, that bite was like, it was very weird. You know, it was like, I was jerking it just how, oh, there goes a the baby salmon. <laughs> there goes a the baby salmon. That was weird. Okay, but, you know, I was just jerking it as usual. I casted it out there, you know. You know how I was normally working it. And then I paused it, right? And then I went to jerk it again, but it was slack line. So I was like, oh, what the heck? And I went to jerk it again to get the slack out of my line, and it was still slack. So I reeled up like this, and then you know, my rod loaded up. So I set the hook, and then he kind of ran at me, and then he flashed up, and that's when I saw how big he was. And I was like, oh, man, that's a big one. <laughs> and then that's when I turned on the GoPro and then, you know, I landed him and stuff. But like for me personally, a big fish for me is like, like a, anything over 25 is pretty big for me. Anything under 25 is like average. And then puny is probably like under 15 or under 17 inches. But for me, at least 28 is a, a really good size fish for me. Cause I don't really catch a lot of eight, 28s like that. A 29s, that's pretty big. Anything over 25 for me is pretty damn big. Let me know what's the uh, biggest stripers you guys caught in the uh, in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys' PB striper, or let me know your guys' craziest striper story ever. Mine would probably be uh, being stolen by a sea lion. Every time I hook a big fish, I'm praying that there's not a sea lion around. But yeah, let me know either your biggest striper ever or the craziest striper story you ever had. So let me know in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, if I don't catch anything, that's probably gonna be the end of this video. So thanks y'all for watching. Peace out guys. Catch you guys later.